what's good it's Roman on wheels aka the Roman bill and okay <laughs> This story takes place about five years ago. A young woman named Alexa was babysitting these two kids, Matt and Lily. Uh, this was her first time ever babysitting this ki these kids and she's known around the neighborhood as the babysitter so that's why she was called. So she figured, okay, this is just another simple job. Let's go babysit these kids and make, make a little money. So she goes over to the house. The parents leave just as normal. She's getting the kids di uh, dinner ready. And just says many other babysitting jobs before. It's as simple as that. Matt and Lee finishes their dinner and they were about to go to bed. Everything was nice and calm. And she sent the kids to the room. They went to sleep. And she sat on the couch and watched TV. At about 11, 11 o'clock at night, Alexa called the parents uh, of the two kids and asked them if she could cover up this disturbing clown statue that she sees that uh, was in the hall, at the end of the hall of the house. She wasn't a big fan of clowns and the fact that they just had a clown statue in the house was just not her, not her thing. So she wants to know if she can kind of just cover them up. Um, uh, the dad, in a very calm and serious voice, told Alexa, I want you to go get the kids, go to the neighbor's house, and call the police. So she's like, huh? Okay. But he, if it's his house, so she was like, well, I'm not going to ask questions right yet, right now. So she gets up, goes to the kid's room, grab them, walk across the street, and call the police, as she was told. The cops tell her that they're on their way. So then after she calls the police, she then calls the dad back and asks, why did you ask me to go next door? And then why did you ask me to call the police? The dad says, the children have been complaining about seeing a child in their sleep, but me and their mom keep blaming it on nightmares. And now when you ask to cover up the clown statue, the girl is like, yeah, what about the clown statue? The dad says, well, we don't have a clown statue, which means the kids accidentally either bought a clown statue or it's a real clown. Come to find out, there was a dwarf living in their house for some time. And going back further into the history of this man, he turned out to be a serial killer who liked to dress up in clowns clothing, scaring and killing people in so many different ways. And that's the story of the clown statue, or the statue. What do you guys think about that? It was pretty short, I know, but uh, yeah, kind of gave you some like, oh, goosebumps. They don't have a statue. So what does that mean? Oh. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching, or thank you for listening. 
uh, to this little Halloween story special. Um, yeah, if you want to stay tuned for the next story, stay tuned in. And I will see you guys later. Like this video if you want to like it. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the flip sides. Deuces. Thank you.